Okay, this is a Kali Linux uh, server running uh, Kingfisher, and this is the main landing page for the Kingfisher server page. And there's a web server URL, the company name, the source, email, subject, all the information has been populated. And here we're just um, selecting the message body that we'll be sending to the victim here, and I'm picking a WebEx invite.html file that I'm going to send in, in a calendar invite. And then uh, we move below is the target. So I'm sending it to myself here as an example. And I'm selecting the message type to be a calendar invite. And within the calendar invite, I go ahead and specify the date and time that I'm going to send. So in this case, it's May 11th. Starting time is 17.05, so it's 5.05 PM. And same thing with the duration field. I'll change it to 30 minutes, and I'll fill in the rest of the information for San Jose, the WebEx, and then I'm all ready to go here. And as I switch over to the preview page, I can see that this is a clone of a WebEx invitation, so it looks totally legitimate. Um, and then there's two links that I embed in here that these are just links, numbers that I made up, but, but it looks totally just like a typical WebEx link in a typical email, uh, a calendar invite from WebEx. And of course, now I can move over to the Send tab and hit Send. And you can see that there's a message that uh, the calendar invite has been sent to the Cisco SMTP, ser SMTP server here. And of course, you want to cause some confusion for the victim, so you can hit Send a few more times if you like. And just to send them more duplicate messages and fill up their calendar to make it look messy and confusing so they get sort of uh, lost in the shuffle of so many calendar invites. And uh, as I switch over to the victim uh, test machine, you can see here that I've already gotten two or three invitations in my Outlook. Okay. And they all sourced from LinkedIn underscore HR because that's the bogus fake company that I made up here. And I can drill deeper into one of the any of the invitations, and it starts at 5:05 as I created earlier. And there's just multiple calls, and so the, the suspect, unsuspecting victim typically would just scroll down and look at the topic, the content of the WebEx invite. And then uh, to join the meeting, they simply click on the link quickly that starts with cisco.webex.com, et cetera, et cetera. And once they click on it, um, it takes them to a landing page that I, uh, I can mock up to make it look like WebEx or like an internal calendar or internal portal that will make it look legitimate and to trick the user into logging in um, like a single sign-on authentication page. And once they hit sign-on, the, uh, the attack is already done, right? The user has been tricked and fooled. Uh, credentials have been submitted and we can go back into the uh, Kingfisher page under the View Campaigns for Credentials tab. And you can see that the user jelin at cisco.com and the password of uh, cisco12345 has already been captured, okay? And uh, back in Kingfisher, you can look at statistics of the a number of offering systems um, that's been uh, compromised, a number of times your invite has been opened, et cetera, et cetera.